Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I will show you how to answer about the question. So on the question, they want to find the probability. So to do about this one, we need to find about expected value and variance. And then we can find about standard deviation. The first thing we need to find about expected value of activity from A to J. The formula to find about expected value. So that should be about TE. That is about expected time. T, that is about the time. E, that is about expected. E equals to T optimistic. That is about this one. Plus 4 TM. That is about capital M in here. Most likely time. Plus T, B, bestimistic over number six because this is about the average so number six because this is about one plus four plus one so that's why we have number six so after we have the formula so let's say i select about activity eight so we put number six go in here Number 10, go in here. And number 14, go in here. So we divide by number 6. So we calculate this one. And we got number 10. So I will draw another column in here. So the first one, that is about number 10. Now we can do for activity from B to J. And here is about the result. So here is the answer in here. The next one, we need to draw about network diagram in here. So I will put about the star location. So in the first one, we have A, B, C. So we put A, B, C in here. So the next one, I will put about expected value from the table going here. So we connect from here, go on here. The next one, D, that's if before A and B. So D, that should be in here. And that is about number six. The next one that is about E. 
and we have B and C. So E, that is about 5.17. So that should be gone here. The next one, F, we have B and E. So B and E, they will go in here. And this one, that is about 14.2. 33. The next one that's is about G and they go for D. And we have 16.17. The next one that is about H. We have E and F. So E and F, they will go in here. And this one, that is about 15. The next one that's about I and we have F and G. And we know that I, that is about 20.67 and the last one that is about J so I will put this one going here And that is about number 10. So now we have many parts in here. So we need to find on the value of total expected values. So we have the part number one, that is about A, D, G, I, J. This is about the first one. So to calculate about this one, we put about number 10 plus number 6 plus 16 point 17 plus 20 point 67 plus number 10. So we calculate this one and we have 62.84. The next one we have A, oh sorry, we have B. So B go to D. I trade. So this one we have 8.17 plus number 6 plus 16.17 plus 20.67 plus 
67 plus number 10. So we calculate this one. And we have 61.01. Now let's go to the next one. That is about BFI trade. So we have 8.17 plus number F. F that's about 14.33 plus 20.67 plus number 10. So we calculate this one. And we have 53.17. The next one. That is about B F H trade. So we calculate this one, and we have forty seven point five. And now we go to B. That's about B E. F B E F I J. So we calculate this one, and we have. 58.34 So we go to C We have C E F I trade And that is about 62.17. So the next one, that is about B E F H J. So we calculate this one. And we have 52.67. And the last one, that is about C E F H J. So we calculate this one. So, we have 56 point fight. Now, we compare all the value in here, and we can see that the highest one, that is about this one. So, in this one, we need to find the longest one, and that is about expected value of the network. So after we got this one, we have A, D, G, I, J. So we need to find the variance in here. To calculate about the variance, we need to use about the formula in here. That is about time of pessimistic. We minus about time of optimistic. We divide by number 6 to the power of 2. So we just select about 8 D G 
G I N J. So I just find the value of this one, this one, this one, and this one. For example, I select about activity 8. We put about 14 minus number 6 over number 6. So we calculate this one. So we have 1.78. So this one we have 1.78. Now we can do similar for the GI tray in here. So that should be like this. After we got this one, we can find the variance of the critical part. So that should be about the square root. And we sum on the value together. So the sum of this one, that is about 10.91. So the square root of this one, we got about 3.30. And now we just have the expected value and the variance in here. So in this, the next one, we want to find the probability of complete the project by week 60. So that means we have B and T is smaller than or equals to. So we put number 60 in here. We minus about the mean over the standard deviation in here. So we have the value The mean that is about 62.84. We divide by standard deviation. So we calculate this one and we have B with T is smaller than or equals to negative 0.86. So we use the table to find the value of this one. So we can see that we need to select about this one in here. And that is about 19.49. And we can put like this. Question number two. They want to find between 58 and 64. So that means we have like this. So we calculate this one, and that is about negative 1.47. And the next one, that is about 0 0.35. So we can use the table in here. So this one, we have 57. And that is the final answer. This is the end. Thank you for watching.